بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد أحبابي في الله Dear brothers and sisters in Islam is a good chance for us to have these special days that we are just that close to Ramadan and we should send a quick messages to all brothers and sisters. We should send these messages to ourselves, to our daughters, to our mothers, and to our brothers. The first message that I'm going to send for myself and for you all is a tawba qabla Ramadan. Repentance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just before entering Ramadan. Tawbah is the best thing that I can do and you can do, Akhil Habib, Ukhtil Fadila. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling us and is telling us, Wa inni lagafarun liman taba wa amana wa amila salihan thumma tada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, I am the most forgiver to those who come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who come back to Allah, who know that there is a God. It's called Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who knows that they are slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They accepted that they have a God. La ilaha illallah. And they are coming back to him. We know ourselves that we have done a lot during these past months before, before Ramadan. And now we are coming to Ramadan. You, we should not go into Ramadan with all of our sins. We should sit down before entering Ramadan and spend few times. Raise your hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, I'm your slave. I did this. Remind yourself what you did for your, all these months. I did this, I did this, I did this. I did other stuff also that I don't know myself, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recorded his angels recorded in, his, in, in, in the book. Tomorrow you will see your books. وَكُلَّ إِنسَانٍ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ فِي عُنُقِهِ وَنُخْرِجُ لَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ كِتَابًا يَلْقَاهُ مَنْشُورًا اِقْرَأْ كِتَابَكَ كَفَى بِنَفْسِكَ الْيَوْمَ عَلَيْكَ حَسِيبًا On the day of judgment, the book is going to be open and you will see all the good deeds that you have done and all the bad deeds that you have done. You will regret about every single minute that you spent without seeking the Rida Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So before we enter Ramadan, we should raise our hands subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying to Allah, Oh Ya Allah, you are the forgiver. Please forgive me. Please forgive me before I enter Ramadan. You know what happened? Once you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgiveness, now you are heavy. You are heavy with your sins. You did this, you did this, you did that, and you are so heavy. Entering with heaviness into Ramadan is going to make you very heavy on the days of Ramadan. That is why people, they don't enjoy the ibadah in Ramadan. You will see, you will see them the first two, three days, they are fine. After three days, you will feel, you will feel that they are weak. They cannot do nothing. They, they, they are tired because of the sins that still have sins in their body. But if you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, all that heaviness to be moved from you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qadir an yaghfir al dhunub inna Allah yaghfir al dhunub jami'a. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will wipe all your sins. So enter Ramadan with a good heart, without sin, and you will feel light, you will feel happy to do the ibadah. When you raise your hands to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will feel the meaning and the enjoyment of those days. نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يوفقنا لما يحبه ويرضاه وأن يجعل آخرتنا خيرا من الأولى وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم